Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a review for you, like with swatches and stuff. And it is on the Shan XO and BH Cosmetics palette. This is a 9 eyeshadow palette and a 9 lipstick palette. And I'm quite excited to have this. If you don't know who Shan XO is, then I don't know where you've been. Because she's like the, one of the biggest beauty YouTubers um, out there. So she's collaborated with BH Cosmetics to come up with this palette. So this is the nine eyeshadows here and I'm actually wearing them on my eyes today. I'll have the look listed down below if it's up already. If it's not, just stay tuned. <laughs> so as you can see it's kind of neutrally kind of everyday colours which is awesome in a palette I think because who doesn't love something you can wear every day? Now there's no names to these shades or anything so I'm just gonna like go from this way to this way and then that way. This is the lightest shade here on this palette. It's a gorgeous transition shade or like you know all over the lid shade. Super super creamy. It's just really good. I used it today all over my lid, all the way up to my brow bone. And it's perfect just for blending out colours. So it's a staple colour to have. The next one is this shimmery gold colour. Why do my fingers look so wrinkly? <laughs> and it's just exactly that. A really pretty shimmery champagne-y colour. And then the next one over here at the edge is more of like a rose goldy shimmer colour. So that's it there, kind of bronzy rose gold colour. And that's it right there. So as you can see they're just really nice shimmery colours for like all over the lid or for highlights. Um, I used the middle shade, the like champagne -ier one, as a brow highlight and on my face. So they're very versatile very pretty like I said everyday kind of colors I'm moving on to this middle row here and this is like a very yellowy transition shade quite yellow I don't know kind of what to compare it to it's like the kitchen paint that we have really <laughs> but no it's a really really nice warm transition shade you know how so many of them are like kind of cool toned or brown this is just like something different it's nice I have it here and the other one as well so I like mix them but I do like it it's different so it's nice to have something different and not the same if that makes sense <laughs> so then the one in the middle here is like just a true bronze shade that's it you can never go wrong with a bronze eyeshadow in my opinion I think they just suit absolutely everybody like any skin color any eye color bronzy eyeshadows are amazing <laughs> so yep yeah. that's it there again suits everyone just be gorgeous on its own like for summer especially or you know just put it all over put it under your lash line oh it would just be like a bronze goddess and then the last one on this row is like a terracotta-y reddish brown color and again, I used it in my crease today. That's there on top. So yeah, actually those three would be a really nice like summery eye, wouldn't they? Mm. <laughs> so yeah, I really, really enjoy that row. <laughs> like I said, it's something different, but very, very wearable. So for the final row, it's all like the darker colors. So this one here is like a top, taupe, taupey kind of shimmer really really pretty it's like reflecting pinks and browns and grayish you know like kind of that color group again gorgeous all over the lid for something a tiny bit more sultry or smoky can't go wrong so the next color in the palette is the middle one on the bottom and it is like a duochrome finish it looks browny bluey in the pan but when you actually swatch it on bare skin kind of gives this coppery reflection to it because you know copper can go blue or brown so it's like gorgeous 
but Shannon did swatch this with different bases underneath and it does show up differently. So I don't have that many different color bases but I'll leave all the swatches that I do in my blog with a link down below so head over and check it out. And then the last shade here in the palette is just like a charcoal color. Perfect for, you know, outer V's or just darkening up a crease or adding dimension, whichever, smoky eye, you name it. Just a super basic yet wearable color to have, like a everyday kind of color. So yeah, that's the nine eyeshadows of this palette. Like I said, all the swatches will be linked below. So now onto the lipstick side and there is nine colors here. And I use these two today, like the two bottom colors. I kind of mix them. So I'm going to wipe it off and I'm going to swatch all of them for you. So naturally, I'm going to just go with like the lightest shade and work my way. I think it's up and around. and I don't know. We'll just, we'll figure it out together. <laughs> so I'm going to take this bottom color right here. It's the lightest in the palette. And I'm just taking like this little concealer brush. So that's the lightest color in the palette. It's like a very nudey pink. So it does look more nude in the actual like pan, but it comes off more pinky. Um, it's a gorgeous nude color, you can't go wrong with it. Tiny bit misleading, that's all. So then I'm gonna just work up the ways and this is like a rosy pink color. <laughs> So that's the second color, like I said, it's like a more rosier kind of pink. They're wearing quite sheer, like, um, like they're pigmented but they're not like super pigmented, you know what I mean? So they're just, they show up the color. I do like that color though. So now I'm moving on to this top color here and it's like a salmon-y pink, I think. <laughs> Nope, it's not salmon at all, it's like pink pink. <laughs> so this is a very like springtime, summertime, true pink. It's like almost like skin tone pink, like the color your lips should be almost, you know? Again, they do look different in the actual pan, well to my eye anyway, than what they're coming off as. So next we got this really hot kind of pink colour. Maybe this one will be more salmon-y, we'll see. <laughs> no, I think this is going to be quite floral. Yeah. <laughs> So this one is also a really gorgeous like spring summer kind of color. The only thing I just saw there was that if you're putting it on with like a flat brush you really need to spread out the product because some bits are like gathering together and making them look more like um, opaque but it's a fun color. So yeah I'm actually gonna head over to this one here. It's like a orangey red color it looks like so let's give that one a shot. Ooh, I like this one. I have nothing like this, I don't think so. Okay, so don't mind the application because as the colors get a bit darker, um, I'm gonna be just a tiny bit more messier. This color I love, oh my God. Out of all of them, I think it's my favourite because I never buy any colours like this because like orangey red is kind of scary, especially I don't wear a lot of red lipstick anyways. But this one is super duper pretty, like I'm obsessed. Okay, so I'm going to move down the ways and this is like super Barbie pink looking, so let's see how this turns out. Ooh. 
was very soft and gunky. I feel like a Barbie doll. Oh my god. This color is so pretty. It's like super bright, but wearable. Does that make sense? Like I'd see me wearing this on a night out because it's not, it's bright, but it has like this darker kind of undertone to it. It's not like white, so it's not like woom. So then I'm gonna go to the right, like the one in the exact middle. So it looks like a plummy mauve kind of color. Okay, so it's not a plummy mauve color or like mauve at all. It's like lilac. It's like a pinky purpley color and I'm obsessed. This color is stunning. This one might be my favorite. I know, see I don't have anything like that either. So the ones that I don't have anything of, I'm getting like whoop. So I'm gonna do this crimsony red color next. It's like exactly that, it looks like crimson red. Yeah, see some of them, some of them I'm putting like my brush in and it's going like straight in and then the others I have to like swish around. So I don't know, it's kind of just inconsistent. So guys, that's the red color there. It didn't look crimson red at all, like I thought it would. It's like more of a pinky red, but sure, what can you do? Well, it's not coming off. <laughs> so that's, I've had it on for a moment because the camera died and I had to just plug it in real quick. So that's pretty pigmented. <laughs> and then last but not least is this color down here. And it's like just a deep purple color, I think. Yeah, it's like one of those wine plum colors. So yeah, that's a really just pretty deeper kind of color. Again, please excuse the application. It's absolutely dreadful. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's like a nice berry kind of pinky red color. So guys, there's my swatches of the palette. Um, quick review. I think for the price, it's, you can't go wrong. You're, you're getting nine eyeshadows and nine lipsticks for $15. Like, it's insane. And it is double-ended, so, or like double-sided. So your eyeshadows aren't gonna get all powdery and fall into the lipsticks, which is a really, really good idea because there's nothing worse than that. You're like doing your eyeshadow and then boom, all of your highlight color is on the dark purple. So, you know. <laughs> um, like just there with the red, some of the darker colors might stain. So just be careful. Some of the um, formulas are a tiny bit different as well. Like I said, some kind of come out way quicker and like gloopier than others, more of like a bam, like they kind of come off you know, you have to rub them to get them off. Um, but the colors on the lips look good. And all around, I think this is a great little investment, especially if you're starting off with makeup or just wanna like try different colors or different, you know, yeah, mainly different colors. Like I said, two of the colors there I don't really own or ever invest in, like the orangey red and the pinky purple. So, you know, now I can say I like those colors. The eyeshadows are amazing, they're really easy to blend, they're not very fall outy, like they're not very powdery. Uh, so yeah, I can't fault it. I will have swatches of all the products listed down below, like I said. As always guys, thanks a million for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do, it means the world. And until next time guys, bye.